Xiao Zhan has been a familiar face on our screens since 2018 when he played the lively Wei Wuxian in the popular drama The Untamed. Over the years, he has evolved from a promising young actor to a successful and award-winning performer in the Chinese entertainment industry. He has acted in various dramas like The Oath of Love, The Wolf, Youth Memories, and The Longest Promise, among others. Despite his long presence in the public eye, there's more to him than meets the eye. Let's explore some untold truths about Xiao Zhan. Only Child Chronicles Xiao Zhan is an only child and describes his childhood normal and great, despite his strict father. My dad was very dominant and had strict requirements. Since I was young, he taught me to think for others, to lead by virtue, all of that, it was very Chinese style. My mom was very domestic and relied on my dad a lot. I pretty much grew up getting beaten, they played doubles, all kinds of beatings. If my mom came home from early, she would do it, until my dad came home, when my mom gets tired of hitting me, my dad takes over, he casually reveals. When he was in middle school, he got in trouble for things like doing badly on tests, coming home late, or arguing with his classmates. If he really messed up, neither his mom nor dad would protect him, and he'd get double the punishment. His father did things in an orderly and structured manner, and had the same requirements for him. Since elementary school, he already knew what a key point university was, and he knew that he had to get into a key point university. He knew about Peking University and Tsinghua University very early on, because these two top schools held summer camps, which his father demanded that he attend. Even if he didn't attend summer camp, he couldn't just lie around, as his father said, kids can't only have grades. He was enrolled in various extracurricular classes, violin, go, calligraphy, brush calligraphy, drawing. Sometimes this elicited a retort from his mom, you signed up for so many classes, can he learn it all? How he became an idol trainee Xiao Zhan's big break in the entertainment world happened when he tried out for a talent show called X-Fire. He shared, I've always loved singing, and in June 2015, the show's director got in touch with me through my school teacher and asked if I wanted to join. At that time, he had already finished school and was working at a design studio, which he liked. Xiao Zhan didn't even know what he was signing up for when he said, Oh, okay, I'll come play. At the time I didn't know what I was even coming for, and I made it all the way to this point, he said at the time. When he got to Beijing for the competition, he realized it wasn't all fun and games. He had to learn to dance from scratch, even though he didn't know a thing about it. He said, I originally thought I'd just sing quietly, but the show focused a lot on dancing, so I pushed myself to learn. He had to face injuries along the way, like losing a toenail because he didn't use the right techniques while dancing. His knees also swelled up from not doing certain moves correctly. It was tough, and he sometimes only got an hour of sleep a day while practicing singing and dancing. Being an idol was demanding, and the group he was in released a mini-album in 2016, but it didn't become very popular. Back then, China's idol industry wasn't as developed as Japan or Korea, so Xiao Zhan didn't have many chances to perform in front of an audience. After the talent show, he took a break, but he didn't stop working. He went to classes, learned more about dancing and acting, and even stuck to a healthy diet while going for late-night runs. The Wolf Xiao Zhan initially had small acting roles and wasn't famous. Director Liu Ying liked him for a show but was told he wasn't popular enough. Over time, Xiao Zhan gained experience, and in 2017, he got a big role in The Wolf as Ji Chong. But it wasn't easy. While filming, they were in a tough place called Shangri-La, with snowy mountains, deep valleys, and really cold weather. The wind was icy, and it felt like it could knock you over. They were in the forest, high up at 4,000 meters where horses couldn't even run, and Xiao Zhan's eyes got swollen from the strong UV rays while trying to do a crying scene. He tried everything to make himself cry, even pinching himself, but it didn't work. It was freezing, filmed on top of the mountains, at night, and it was raining, Xiao Zhan said. Director Chin Yushan, who is from Taiwan, tried to comfort him, saying they could stop filming if he couldn't cry that day. But Xiao Zhan didn't want that. He thought to himself, no, we can't stop because of me. If we stop, it's a big loss for the whole crew. He felt the pressure, and he kept trying to get the emotions right. But that night, he just couldn't cry. 
People tried to comfort him, saying it was his first time acting, and he was doing great. But Xiao Zhan felt that the audience wouldn't forgive him just because it was his first time. He started doubting himself and had many sleepless nights. He would lie in bed with his makeup on, staring at the ceiling, and wondering if he was really cut out to be an actor. One day, his acting teacher, Su Jihui, gave him some Kalyan liquor and told him to relax. He drank it and felt a bit dazed. His teacher said, See, you act well when you're relaxed. Now, go back and write down how you felt. Xiao Zhan went back and started typing, and as he wrote, he began to cry. I vented with the help of alcohol, he said. He cried as he wrote and remembered how kids would do their homework while crying because they didn't want to do it but had to. That helped him get back on track. The Untamed In 2019, Xiao Zhan starred in The Untamed with Wang Yiba, a fantasy drama based on a novel. He played Wei Wuxian, a carefree character who undergoes a dark transformation. His performance was excellent, and the show became super popular with over 10 billion views by December 2021. Getting the role of Wei Wuxian was challenging. Many actors claimed to have read the book during auditions but couldn't answer basic questions. Xiao Zhan was honest and said he hadn't read it but knew the script inside out and did extensive character studies. Filming The Untamed was a big challenge for Xiao Zhan as it was his first time in a leading role. He had over 900 scenes with complex lines. The Hong Kong director, Chan Ka Lam, worked very efficiently, so there was little time between shots. Actors had to react instantly to the director's prompts, even without other actors present. This required a deep understanding of the script and character. Yang Xiao mentioned, Xiao Zhan did the best in this aspect. He went through several copies of the script and could still accurately recall Wei Wuxian's lines in interviews, even after a year. Yang Xiao noticed that Xiao Zhan put a lot of effort into becoming Wei Wuxian during filming. At a lunch gathering after the show ended, she saw a change in him. On set, he used to be very lively and talkative, but now he appeared quieter. She realized that he had been using his liveliness as a way to cope with stress. Xiao Zhan once mentioned he was introverted, but no one believed him. Young Xiao understood that his lively persona was his way of dealing with the pressure of playing such a complex character. The huge scandal that almost ruined his career. As Xiao Zhan became more famous, he faced a situation he couldn't control. Trouble started when a novel called Falling was posted on a fan fiction site in January 2020. This story was about Xiao Zhan and his co star Wang Yiba from The Untamed. It portrayed Xiao Zhan's character as a cross-dressing teenager in love with Wang Yiba's character. Some fans of Xiao Zhan were unhappy with this and reported it as underage pornography to Chinese authorities, hoping to get it banned. As a result, the platforms hosting the fan fiction were shut down by Chinese internet authorities in just two days. This led to protests and criticism of Xiao Zhan for his fans' actions. Some of his fans had also engaged in controversial activities, adding to the outrage that I in response, millions of free speech activists started boycotting the brands Xiao Zhan endorsed, like Estee Lauder, Piaget, and Keelan. They even promoted the competitors of these brands, overwhelmed customer service lines, and pressured brands to sever ties with Xiao Zhan. Despite an apology from Xiao Zhan's management team, the damage was done. Some brands ended their partnerships with him. Xiao Zhan stayed out of the public eye for nearly a year before gradually making a comeback and rebuilding his career. Xiao Zhan is known for going the extra mile in his work. For one Chinese drama, he had the option to stay in a fancy hotel, but he chose to live with the makeup and production teams instead. Why? So he could save about an hour on his daily commute. He wanted to use that extra hour to memorize his lines, which shows his dedication. When filming on a chilly day, he turned off the air conditioning in his RV, that's like a mobile dressing room, to get used to the cold. He did this so that he would be ready to perform well without freezing up when shooting outside. In fact, during the filming of Jade Dynasty, where it was a freezing minus 20 degrees Celsius, Xiao Zhan wore shabby clothes and had fans blowing cold air at him. He endured being dropped from a height of 20 meters, dragged through the sand, and repeatedly went into icy waters until he got frostbite but he just smiled and insisted it wasn't cold. During The Wolf, he took his dedication to another level. 
He never left the set for all 300 scenes, staying there for the entire four months to really get into the zone that actors need. Even during lighting checks, he would be there. Some actors use stand-ins and only show up when it's their turn, but Xiao Zhan didn't mind the scorching sun and waited patiently in his spot, no matter how long it took. The director of The Untamed, Chan Ka Lam, shared some stories too. There was a time when they filmed a rainy scene for seven consecutive nights. His eyes were red from the long hours, and he even got an eye infection from the artificial rain. But he kept his professionalism and finished the filming. Xiao Zhan doesn't complain or act like a big shot. It's the crew members and directors who see his incredible professionalism and strong work ethic. For him, whether it's auditions, filming, or any other work, there's no room for slacking off. He's okay with staying up all night and working extra hours because it's his personal choice, and he doesn't see it as suffering. Is he naturally talented and can do everything perfectly? No. It's the result of lots of practice that most people don't see. The Dark Side of Fame Xiao Zhan's life changed drastically when he decided to pursue acting. According to Portrait Magazine, in 2019, he was a hot topic on Weibo 159 times for various reasons, his hairstyle, his outfits, his expressions, and even whether he looked tired or not. Fans would scrutinize every detail, pausing videos, taking screenshots, and analyzing them with Photoshop to understand his emotions at a particular moment. He became the subject of constant assessment. Every morning, when he wakes up, he worries about how he looks. As someone who appears on camera, he doesn't have the luxury of looking tired or bloated. People watch him closely, and there are no hidden moments. People want to know about his personal life, relationships, and preferences. Director Liu Ying, who worked with Xiao Zhan, faced the frenzy around such a popular star for the first time in his long career. He had to plan Xiao Zhan's route back to the hotel every night, considering which elevators and doors to use, almost like planning an escape. He found it strange that many fans appeared at night, as if they were hiding in trees. But despite all this, he remains positive and doesn't let these things bother him too much. Relationships Back in college, Xiao Zhan had a girlfriend, and he affectionately called her his wife. They had a close and loving relationship, as seen in their photos together. Xiao Zhan even thought about marriage and went ring shopping, showing their deep connection. However, they eventually went separate ways when his girlfriend went abroad. Interestingly, Xiao Zhan's ideal type, as he described it, matches the gentle and virtuous qualities of his ex-girlfriend. As time passed, their lives went in different directions. His ex-girlfriend got married and started a family, while Xiao Zhan's fame continued to rise. Their once enviable relationship is now a chapter in their individual stories. For those wondering if they have a chance to be Xiao Zhan's girlfriend, well, there's quite a line. In an episode of Day Day Up, Xiao Zhan mentioned that his ideal type is someone warm, homely, and not too clumsy. Back in 2017, he even said he planned to get married by the age of 30. But it seems like his plans have changed, as in a later interview, he mentioned that he's not actively looking for a girlfriend at the moment because he's very busy with work. Xiao Zhan's popularity continues to soar. On July 17, 2023, Tencent confirmed that his character, Shireen, from The Longest Promise, achieved a record-breaking popularity index of over 40 million. When asked if he might venture into behind-the-scenes work, he said, perhaps, there's a good chance I will. I believe that creativity is interconnected, and it has a life of its own. Whether you're in front of the camera or behind it, don't limit yourself. Maybe one day, I'll explore the world behind the scenes and create something new.